Despite the known risks of opioid abuse and addiction, prescriptions for these potent painkillers have not decreased in the U.S. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez is here this morning with our health headline. Good morning, guys. So according to a new study from the Mayo Clinic, opioid prescription rates have more or less stayed the same since 2013. However, the rates are still higher than 10 years ago. Opioid use remains particularly high among patients with disabilities. The most commonly prescribed opioid in the U.S. is hydrocodone. Researchers say American Americans consume seven times more prescription opioids per person than people in the UK. Drinking heavily or not at all could increase the risk of dementia. French researchers tracked over 9,000 middle-aged adults for 25 years. Those who consumed either zero or more than 14 alcoholic drinks per week were more likely to develop dementia than light or moderate drinkers, those right down the middle. Mm. Dementia risk among non-drinkers may stem from a higher likelihood of stroke, heart disease, and diabetes. Lastly, hitting the sauna is not only relaxing, it could be good for your health. A Finnish study found frequent sauna bathing reduces the risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, and mental health disorders. Uh. Researchers say it can also help with arthritis, skin diseases, headaches, and flu symptoms. The body's responses to a sauna bath were similar to those achieved by a vigorous walk. Mm.